are in Disney, Oklahoma. Welcome to the Great American Crawl. I have not been here before. No, I, I've, uh, this is my first trip to Disney. Uh, a quaint little town. Haven't been here before, but definitely like it. Um, people were great, uh, event, like the scenery. I love anything next to water, so that was a plus. But yeah, this was, it was good. Disney is a lake community, and there are multiple dams along the lake. And so the area we are wheeling is uh, partially washes from the dam, uh, but also uh, wooded areas between the washes. What's kind of weird about the woods here is that there's no ratings down here. Majority of the people can just follow us through because you get into the valleys and there's just offshoots that everybody can just play on and go up and turn back down. And then we can continue on the trail. So we took off and went straight to Rollover Hill. Um, and Rollover Hill is just a series of rock ledges down this whole hillside. And there's a trail that runs right in front of it so everybody can park. I notice anytime we're down here, if we're with a group of people that have never done it, no matter how many times you tell people, hey, there is one way and one way only to do this. I don't care if you've got an 87 inch wheelbase or 140, I don't care if you got 100 horsepower or 1,000. There is one way to do that hill. Bill's been up it many, many times, I'm sure, and he makes it look easy. But yeah. You just need to. Uh, commit you, you don't start on the obstacle mm -hmm. you start about 30 feet back mm -hmm. and you just roll into it mm -hmm. on a good line and keep going mm -hmm. and uh of course he made it look easy yeah and tommy at uh, midwest crawlers he uh he went up that driver's rear was it? i yeah i think it was when he came back down and kind of uh. Caught, and uh, that was it. And then we just kind of moved down. Um, I call it the forks. Oh, Some yeah. people call it three fingers, um, but it's basically where the trailhead goes down, and it kind of goes off the left, and you can kind of go off to the right, um, and it's just one hill that's got lines and uh kind of intimidating a lot of people look at it like oh my god that's a big bump but you can see that a lot of people went up there and just whoop, right up it i mean they just picked the right line
everyone was able to like, it was like you were able to park, you know when you go to like a drive-in movie theater, it's kind of like that. And then whoever starts, hits the obstacle, everyone's like watching and supporting. So I like that about this park. I think it's really cool. We took off and I lined up down there on the trail and everybody kind of funneled around, dodged around trees and other Jeeps and everything. And we took, took off and I was just driving down the valley and I'm like, hmm, that looks like fun. Ah, there was like kind of easier and then it just went from easy to stupid. <laughs> this yeah. is stupid, you know? And so I, I went up the easy line. That's where I saw that red TJ. Yeah. Make that climb off to the right. That was definitely more challenging. I mean, you had to come into that thing super off camber and then like hook back around to get around a tree so your driver's your driver's front wasn't in it. That was the craziest. I, I, was, I didn't see it. That was I one of the most impressive climbs I've ever seen. Top. I mean, that was absolutely insane watching him work that. A minimum of a dozen different times you were going, hmm, there it goes. He's got it figured out. Yeah. From what I heard, he was the only guy to crawl Viagra.
Yeah, Robert peed on him for a long time. Yeah. I mean, he did. He was getting ready. He had his. But then he finally got it where Robert finally got it where he walked up. Yeah. And then he just kind of kind of let it walk him over to the right side. And he went up that far side. Yeah, he finally got it. It took a while. And then from there, we uh, we took off, and uh, we went to go up to Painty Hill, and we took the back side of it. It's it's not that challenging of a hill. It's it's very rutted out. I mean, you got dirt banks that are six foot tall on each side of you. Um, but we got out and we walked back and as we were walking back I had a radio in my hand rugged radio in my I'd never get out of the Jeep without that rugged radio in my hand so I can hear what's going on if need be Hey front drive shaft is out Nope. Uh, and somebody got on the radio and said, Bill, uh, someone broke a drive shaft. So I look down and I see him. He's not, he's about a quarter away from the top. Oh man. And uh, Gary, he comes over there and, and we're gonna, he backs down there because we're just gonna pull the shaft, and pull the shaft and just pull him on up. We get down there, it not only broke, I mean, it didn't break the shaft, it broke the freaking pinion. Oh! So, mm. yeah. Um, got him to where we just, luckily he had an atlas, we ended up bunging a drive shaft up out of the way and Gary just, uh, and his LJ just went ahead and pulled him right on up. Have you made a contribution here? Yeah. yeah. Where are they at? Huh? Where are they at? Where are my contributions? This is it the G-string that I passed? Oh, Woody. Uh, uh hey, Lily. Are those your hair leaves in the tree? Lily. Oh my gosh, it's a real Lily, thing? You got, yeah, order. Order. you got to, hey, that, every woman that comes up here their first time, they yeah. have to. You gotta do it. No, thank you. Lily doesn't wear underwear. I don't. <laughs> so I don't have anything to hate. <laughs> yeah. That guy got his drive shaft out and we sent him a different way as we continued on. <laughs> and uh, Dennis says, well now what, where's that truck going? I said, I don't know. Go find out. <laughs> I said, that's how we're going. We're just going to go down and figure it out. And uh, we ended up dropping down the bottom. As soon as I got down in the valley, I immediately knew where I was. I was like, ha ha, I know where we're at now. I just, I can't believe I found this place. <laughs> <laughs> Again, it, it got hard to easy line up this hill. John went up at first. Yes. John oh, come up mean, after John came up after shit. Diana. Yeah. yeah. And he got on it and he was on the gas. Well it just carried him all the way into the freaking trees. Yeah, yeah. He drove over all of them. on a hill, he drove over the whole root ball and just <laughs> <laughs> drove up it. Oh, yeah. Just just going. Yeah.
the group that we had out at this park, um, the energy that they brought, and being that they knew I was new, I feel like everyone was super like supportive, which was really, really nice. So you get that extra boost. So you got your teammate that's like, don't worry, I got you, I'm gonna get you up this obstacle. And then you got the group, like then you have the people that came out to support the event and they're like, you got this. Yeah, so yeah, definitely. It feels like it's getting better and better. So we went over to Viagra and uh, some people were playing on it. There was a huge group of people. Oh yeah, I mean, there were a bunch of us that tried it before you got there. Um, I think Corey was the first one to get on it and Corey tried it. He tried Viagra, he tried Cialis, then he moved over to Viagra and then he ended up shooting up that straight vertical line. This is what they call Viagra. It stinks. Usually there's water all in here. Now all the water's drying up, all the fish are dying, no nasty swamp. We got married right up top that. Oh really? Mm -hmm. That's good. The part that, that's, for me anyway, that's super intimidating about Viagra is you're 40% of the way up, and I mean, you're, you're pretty damn vertical when you come up to that next little stair step and there's no crawling it. I mean, you've got to hit it with horsepower. So not only are you having to bump it when you're already at an incline, a really steep incline, pretty decently far up the hill, but you're hitting it and you're hoping that it's going to hop you kind of over to the driver's side of where you need to be. So it's, that one's not for me. That's, I think you give up a lot of predictability on that. Uh, there was a TJ that, uh, that crawled it. That crawled it. Has Nick tried it yet? No, dude. He laid over on the side. Um, I don't know how he got to that. I don't know, I didn't see it. So I'm sure that it'll be in the video. No? It will. From there, yeah. Then we took off and started cooking. Yeah. Definitely. What a turnout. Yeah. <laughs> awesome turnout. Yeah. Thanks to uh, the town of Disney and uh, yeah, we're Larry, the police chief there, and we were set right up there by City Hall, and uh, we had the whole grass field there. Once we get done with the trails, I think the team gets 
relax and chill, so everyone's in, a, in good spirit, and that's also nice as well. Um, when we get down to the raft lane part, I think that's pretty cool. We give away some really good goodies. Who wants to win a set of 40-inch Mickey Thompson? This has been a great experience. Disney, Oklahoma is awesome. It's a great place to come wheeling. Man, I, I want to go around and give everyone a hug, honestly. But yeah, no, it was really nice to have team support, but then also local support. I thought that was really awesome. Yeah, so this one definitely dear to my heart for sure. Yeah. For four years now, um, Great American Crawl has been going strong. You know. We've got great support from the companies that allow us to put these events on at no cost to the attendees. You know, your barbecue is always going to be free. We're going to get you, you know, your free driver shirt. Raffle prizes from all the companies involved are awesome. Um, you can go to www.greatamericancrawl.com. Hope you guys come join us in a future event. We'd love to see you out there. Dennis is the mic when I smacked it through my head. Yeah, you can't throw the mic. Don't, don't. You'll fall, you'll slip and fall, you'll probably fall right out of this thing. Oh. Here, I'll distract him. 